All right, we are getting ready for our next next cycle. Getting ready for the next cycle in Timberborn. Um, let's see. Make sure everything's set up over here. Well, let me just switch over to this page. We'll get it going here in just a minute. I um, wanted to switch to here. So we have some music playing on Spotify to get us going. Um, takes me, um, well, let me show you this real quick. So, well, as you can see on this page, um, my, uh, I'm loading the map. <laughs> it takes a while. <laughs> uh, it takes a little while to get started. So I am... Um, I've got some new plugins on my OBS. I've got some stream elements things going on. Let me just test out, see if those are actually working. Because uh, I think I can. So, um, if I came here and said this, yeah, look at that. And that's a fake, that's a fake account, but I wanted to just test to see if I can get the alerts to work. So I will hear that little noise, um, if anybody does anything on my channel. So I'll be able to pay attention to what's going on. So. All right, and now our map has loaded. And so that means I need to switch over here. I need to turn this off. Yep. Now, I don't know. like to figure out is if we can make that chat fade away. Mm -hmm. Before we get going, uh, I, can, I can hit that button. Does that do anything? Or maybe I need to do that over here. Things are, things are, we're getting there, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. I'm almost there. Position, size, and style. Can I change the color? I can't. 
Not with that, at least. At least do that. There. I thought chat's cleared out. And all right, so let's look at um, what we're doing here. In um, uh, got to remember where we were at. So we have um, we have a lot of. Well, let's start with our resources. We're low on water. We're definitely low on lumber. Um, we're doing okay with ugh, the berries have come to our rescue, but we've we've got some grilled potatoes there. So um, looks like we are planting carrots. Those are mostly in the ground. Um, somebody's going to come do sunflowers here next. Um, looks like potatoes are in the ground, so we've got these two beavers working on potatoes. Um, now why? Okay, so this was this is marked to be planted. Oh, because uh, as soon as this gets built, then then we'll focus that on potatoes. And this is planting potatoes. This one will be focused on harvesting potatoes. So let's look at our population. We have 15 adults, six children. We have 21 total, so yeah, three empty beds. And we've got this uh, Cliffside Estates or Cliffside Terrace, or I'm not sure what we're gonna call it yet. Uh, so we've got a couple of houses there built. Um, and then they've got their little uh, community, their posh community there, and again, under here, let's see if I, um, I cannot see, I can't, I can't see the posh uh, pathway. I can only see this tile here because it's all underneath this unbuilt stuff. So we won't be able to see it until it's built. And uh, so we'll, we'll see that later. All right, we've got this lumberjack paused, probably because we're short on beavers, but this one is actively doing stuff. Let's see where they're at. So it's this person here. They are probably going to go... Well, what time is it? They probably are just waking up. They're probably starting to try to figure out where they can get some trees. Um, so we are also tentatively building a gear workshop so that we can build... Um, a bigger water storage and this area is hopefully going to be trees um, and this little uh, structure that I've built with uh, levees up here and a, um, a water dump right there hopefully that will irrigate this section um, on a regular basis uh, we may micromanage it until we have the ability to unlock uh, right here a stream gauge oh we could unlock it now how are we doing on research 365 we've got one we need 150 to unlock this so see we could attach um, we could attach a stream stream gauge to that and so we can um, we can then do things like pause at a certain level and unpause at another level so that's something we might want to look into doing um okay over here we're trying to build we're trying to build a dam so that when the flood uh or not the flood when the drought begins we can uh, actually maintain some water here and be able to pump out some drinking water uh that will also keep some of this area irrigated um and so yeah these berries uh saved us a little bit that, that gives us um food uh, so they're collecting berries from this area, and we've we've been collecting lumber in this area. As soon as this forester gets built, which well, we're getting there, we just need three more logs. When that forester gets built, uh, we'll probably start having um, we'll start planting some. Well, let's let's mark that now before we unpause. Let's mark that now. We know that maples are the most efficient. So we will just mark all this to be maple. Let's let's double check how far out can we. We can go all the way out to there. Nailed it on this side. That's that's as far as the forester can reach there. Uh, looks like we can put a couple right there. 
we'll put a couple there. I think that we could get out to that bar. Let's double check that. There's two more spots right there that we can get. Uh, we could also, this whole section down here we can get. Um, and when the water is flowing, um, that works. So let's let's do that. Let's fill this in with, uh, we'll, we'll do the maples here and we'll leave the dandelions in this spot because I do have a mod that normally dandelions are only for medicine, but I think one of my food items um i think one of the mods that we have you can turn dandelions into something else i don't recall what it is right now but i think it's something that can satisfy the food requirements so all right so we are on day two we've kind of reviewed a little bit let's uh actually resume the clock um auto save and let's just uh let things kind of go. See how, see what we're looking at. Um, we've got this uh, levee system uh, planned out. This will give us a little bit of water retention during a drought. Uh, it's going to take a little while to build. Let's turn the priority um, tool on and just see. Okay, none of this is prioritized. This one is slightly prioritized. That's slightly prioritized. This one is the highest priority right now. We really need to get that stuff going. Um, Okay, and the Forester is, uh, is high priority. These are high priority, but this is very high priority. So hopefully we will start seeing more of this get built. So that's four logs out of 12 there. Um, that's probably what's um, being... Uh, so, we, so we need trees that can be chopped down. Um, so we're just waiting on growth. That's what we're waiting on. Uh, while we're waiting on that, what do we, how can we get across over to these other trees? Um, or is there another section that would be valuable for us? I think we just need to get this. Uh, let's, let's make that forester high priority. Let's, let's see if we can get, we just need some logs over there. Well, here's some trees over here. What if we, let's, let's mark those. Oh, those are marked. Um, let's mark all of that. And we're going to mark all of this that we, that we just decided to plant. So that when we do have trees there, we don't lose out on the opportunities. those two yeah so this partially was already set to be cut down uh, okay you're saying you don't have anything to do so we'll mark you back to normal priority we will pause you yeah so there's no trees in that one and that one's range let's put a lumberjack flag here yeah, and we will high prioritize and high workload, so they can they can cut out to here, out to there. So let's mark those out to there, out to here. Um, that's looking pretty good. What are, what else? Oh, they <laughs> they can't really get up here until those stairs are built, but they can get to these, and that will be that will be a huge help. Um, let's get those. Somebody's working there. Yes, look at that. Um, all right, so then we're going to prioritize this building for haulers. That makes the hauler come do that part of the work. Oh, uh, and our lumberjack is thirsty, so he's going to come do that. Oh, and it was technically their bedtime, so they're a little nine year old Pujati. All right. Uh,. So soon, oh yeah, look at that, nine out of 10 logs. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be in business soon. Um, then we'll be able to plant these. That'll be, that'll be very good for us. 
Uh, okay, we have some uh, uh, grown-up trees over here happening. So, and these, I believe, yes, these are maples. So that's going to give us that's going to give us lumber, lots and lots of lumber. Uh, so that is a good, good, good thing. Um, yeah, we're looking we're looking pretty good, and what else were we concerned about on day five? was that video was posted on Friday this video is going on a Monday so the fact that I can't remember will pretend like it's been a weekend even though it's actually been a couple days so there has been a, a gap in my recording and my posting um, all right we got we got carrots happening that is good 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 news carrots are happening um, Yeah, I think I can take a break and take a coffee break. Cold coffee break, but that's okay. I like cold coffee. Oh, we got an injured beaver. Let's pause a second and see if we can figure out. Uh, beaver gonna beave. Um, unemployed. Why is he unemployed? Is it because he's injured? Or is it an age thing? Are they not technically... Is, I thought... I, what What age do they grow up? Beaver don't. Age three. Well, if he's injured... Usually they only get injured after work, right? Hmm. Maybe injured beavers are unemployed. That's something I was not thinking. So let's look at their well-being. How much? Okay, so we didn't we didn't spend our science on um, we didn't spend our science on what, were, what was I looking at? Possibly researching. That was just a couple minutes ago. Um. But I think maybe we should get a medical bed. The spot where beavers come to rest perform better when supplied. So if this performs better when supplied by medicine. I'm not going to worry about medicine right off the bat. Let's put, um, let's, let's research that. And let's, let's build some. Where should we put? Let's go here, here, and here. And we will high prioritize those. What do they need? Planks. Of course they need a plank. <laughs> plank and wood. Uh, all right. So, oh, let's look at, yeah, this is, this is getting built. This is getting built. Um, how are we doing on haulers? We're, okay, we've got one unemployed beaver. Let, let's put them here. Uh -oh. All right. I like it. Um, Let's let's increase this one. Uh, so let's go double check how things are going over here. We want to put somebody there. This has somebody doing things. That's that's looking good. Um, mm -mm -mm. Yeah, this is getting built. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay, uh, let's talk about that storage. This needs. This needs gears. Did we build the gears? No. We need planks and logs there. Uh, oh, that's what we were talking about. That's what I was talking about. Um, I want to do the stream gauge. I do want to do the stream gauge because that's almost built. Uh, so I want the standard one. These are all uh, 11 high or a water alarm. This, the advanced stream gauge is really cool, but that's multiple layers and uh, that's really expensive to unlock, I believe. Right, 750. Oh, but then once you okay, so once you unlock that, then all of these will be unlocked. So still, 750 is um, a lot more than 150. So we'll just put this one in. Um, we'll mark that as high priority. What does this need? Planks. Are we building planks? We are not. Let's build some planks. 
we'll, we'll adjust the uh, priorities of everything once once we actually get somewhere. Um, so I probably I marked somebody high priority, which pulled the guy out of uh, the lumber mill. Um, probably our forester got pulled out. Um, this now that our forester is doing things, we're gonna mark that back to regular. Um, and it'll take it's gonna take a while for these to grow. So I'm gonna leave these paused. Um, so we'll come back and check to see if that forester is sitting on the rooftop. Um, how are we doing here? Should we should we turn? I think we might need to turn this one back on. Let's turn that one back on. All right, so these are birch. I need to start paying attention to when those birch come uh, come full grown because I want to start swapping those out for maple. Um, but that might actually be easier once I have this all planted as once once this water happens. Oh, oh, we need a path. Uh, what kind of path do we want up there? It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't look like anything different. Okay, this is... We're going to prioritize by uh, haulers. Um, we are going to... We will eventually attach this stream gauge. But... Yeah, we're going to high prioritize this. Oh, let's watch. Water should come in. Water should come in. Where's our water? Oh, I'm just gonna pause. Let me now that that stream gauge is set up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach this stream gauge, and so I have. Let's see. Can you see these? You probably can't. Let me move everything. Let me move this over for a second. Okay. So, all right. So now that I've got the stream gauge attached, we can. Move that up a little bit. There. We can pause when it is above a certain level. And since this is just one deep, we're going to pause it when it gets to... Um, or unpause... I'm, I'm moving the hawk slider. Unpause when above... When it's above 0.95. No. Do this wrong. Unpause when it's below 0.5. Okay, but then pause when it is above. Yeah, move that back. Pause when it's above. <laughs> what do we think? Let's do 0.95. Okay, we'll resume the game. So this is set to high priority, and uh, yeah, look at that water come in. Look at that water come in. Uh, we'll put this back to right there. Does that look okay? I might have to move that. Maybe I'll move that over to this area might do that. I might do that right now. I might make it just a little smaller. And that needs to go back there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Maybe I'll move my face up here. A little bit off. Okay, so everything everything back to good? Everything back to good. I wanna double check. Have I have I been talking with my mic off? No. I think you can hear me. Okay. Excellent. So um 
All right, so we've got water. Okay, so um, the water level is currently at 0.9. So maybe we want to pause when above 0.9. That's what we want. So now it's paused, and so our beaver that works there, then go do something else. Now when the water level gets down to 0.5, that beaver is going to come back because this is a high priority job. As long as I don't have everything uh, marked as high priority. So uh, let's see. This one is marked high priority. We'll just make him regular. Uh, uh, actually, now it's high priority instead of very high priority. That's the terminology. Um, look at look at we've got we got trees being planted. We got trees being fully grown. Uh, okay, 292 is our water capacity. Look at all that food coming in. That is fantastic. We are set for the next drought. We are sitting really, really good. Um, let's mark these trees. Oh, that's not a tree. That's a bush. Still, we'll mark those trees for being cut down. And... Um, Alright, what's, what's getting worked on? Um, our priority... I think we've built everything that we've changed priority to, so we should be working on our levees over here. That's, that looks like what's going on. Um, oh, we've got our other farmhouse. That's excellent news. Okay. So that is pausing when the water hits a certain level. Um, how are we doing on berries? We, we have berries. Um, so let's unpause this for a second. That one's fine. We'll unpause that one. Um, double check our berries over here. Unpause that one. Oh, here comes the drought. We are almost done. So we're working our way through cycle six. We are finally uh, making progress, I think. Um, so that is really good to see. Uh, any of these where they are sitting, we will pause again. Uh, 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 yes. The very, very beginning of the game can get real dicey if you don't have good management on your food and water. So... I'm, I'm very happy that we have things working the way that they are. All right, let's see what is our process over here looking like. Well, I'm sure that this will be able to get worked on during the drought because now we are just in need of logs. Um, we don't have any planks in storage. Okay, so we need planks for um, for these platforms but I think those will happen now let's let's change the priority of these planks because I think that will make um, construction of the rest of this go much easier because uh, right now they have to come through over this way now let's just verify if we have anybody making planks we do that's good we have four uh, vacancies I really, I don't, I don't want to mess with, oh, you know what we do, I'm going to pause for a second. Let, let's, um, what's our capacity here? That's full. That's full. Um, okay, so this can hold carrots and potatoes still. This can hold, okay, nobody's working here. Um, we're going to switch to gather, and we're going to say no priority. Gather. No priority. And we're going to do the same here. Alright, so, because um, we're full on grilled potatoes. That is almost full of potatoes and almost full of grilled potatoes. We are... Okay, water is full. Water is full, but we might want more storage. 
but we need gears to build the bigger water storage. So we're gonna we're gonna be patient. We're gonna be patient and wait for that. Um, we'll let this we'll let this run again. Let's turn that off. Uh, this stream gauge, the water level is 0.73. The highest water level has been 0.92. Um, mm. Yeah. All right. So that's doing its work there. So the real question is, can we make this? Uh, yeah. Well, it's, it's too late now. Even if I built another water storage, by, by the time it's built, it it wouldn't have additional water put in there. So we'll see if we run out of water because we're also irrigating that maple field. Um, but look at all that! Look at all this green in the middle here. We could put we could put more trees. We could put more trees, or we could put crops down. almost feel like well we, we don't even have all the trees planted in this area and that's okay not be not because okay there's our drought not because uh, this person's not working because they are working there they are planting um, all right there's there's the end of our water all right so this section over here is going to be rough because I don't have any water in this area so that's got me thinking maybe we need to modify uh, maybe we need to put a water dump right here and um, very similar to what we did in that in that other section but these trees won't die for 14 days our drought wow we got a six day drought but these trees will come back they they are not our primary concern um, they are something we we want to be able to use but this field is our primary concern but look at that it's drought season and all of that is still a viable uh, crop viable oh, <laughs> but our but our food crops are dead so maybe we need to do this same setup here right here let's do that um, let's let's work on that so we want to do levees um, it was it was four that's four we're gonna do it this way though right would that work yeah um and then we'll do there but with this one we're gonna actually make twice as high because then we can have more water stored in there and because the crops are a little bit more finicky than the um, than trees I want to make sure that we always have enough water in there so we put the water dump there now let's look at well we've got enough research we're going to unlock the two and then we're going to put um, let me take that one out. Hmm. You know, I think I want to do... Well, this is all going to be fertile land. It's all going to be fertile. Well, it doesn't matter. That's kind of the, that's kind of the idea. I, I'm thinking I want to put another double stack house over here so that this raised platform kind of makes a little bit more sense um, so we're gonna go here let's build our house no we want to put this I'm gonna I'm gonna put the house there for planning purposes and then remove it so that it's out of so it's not out of sync because um, I I want the water dump more than I want. Oh, that's right. I got, I got, I got rotatey stairs. So we can just do, we can do this set of stairs here. No, not there. 
I know I planned this for a reason, so we're going to remove that. We're going to put... that set of stairs there. We can remove this one. That's not necessary. We will put our path in. We will put our rotating stairs here. And then we will put our path in again there. Right? Okay, so that's everything gets built that direction. And so now, now we want to put the house in. Because now that, that that's all set, oh, why does that, why is it yellow? What does yellow mean? Oh, it won't work there because of the staircase that I put there. Hmm. Let's, let's think differently about, okay, so if we need, if we need the house to sit here, we need a set of stairs going up. Okay. Okay, okay. The straight stairs go there. Suppose I could unlock the ladder. Let's do that. Let's do that. Ladder is fun. Ladder is fun. Um, we will get rid of... I mean, none of this is getting built yet anyway. I think I need at least a path going like this because I need to remove this tile so that I can put the ladder in. Okay. Oh no, it's dropped. It's dropped. I thought, oh my goodness, am I in cycle seven? I do that all the time where I just, I just start building um, and I forget that we need to pay attention to what season we're in. So we'll put a ladder up to this one. Uh, and then we put a path on top. And so then a path is naturally assumed in the bottom there uh, once it's built. So let's prioritize that stack. And then we will put that like there. Put a path in there. All right, we'll let that go. How are we doing on lumber? We are out of we're out of trees. Let me pause a second. We're almost done with the drought. But what what are we looking at? We are okay. So we have some trees down here that need to be cut down. Uh, oh, Pujati's all the way over here. Now. Okay, so. I guess it's nighttime, so we've been using everything. We will unpause, let it let it run. Um, see, I don't want to break the path over to there, so I want to leave this um, workaround that I have, at least temporarily. Yeah, need to leave it there for a moment. As soon as I see a a tower of the ladder there, then we will remove that path and set a house down there. But that is for th this whole section is in the future. Um, I do want that more than I want. Oh, and I missed it. I forgot. You know what? I unlocked the other ones, so we're going to. We're going to delete these and open. Oh. Alright, the drought has ended. We're going to watch the water come in in just a second. But we're going to pause the whole simulation. We're going to delete these since they weren't built yet anyway. Because I forgot. I built them as if they were... Um, I built them as if they were two uh, single planks instead of one two plank, if that makes sense. Two height. Um, also, there's scrap down here because they did put some planks down there. One one thing that I've learned, a nice little trick, is if I pretend like I want to put a plank there and a plank there, it moves that 
uh, rubble to another spot. Uh, and, and I think they can still get it if it's underneath um, underneath a platform, but I, I just feel like it's safer to make sure that they can get it. Alright, so now we've got two hype um, platforms there. We will put a path on them so that they can get around to that when that gets built. Alright, so if we look at our priority, super high priority is these platforms and the stairs, and then um, regular high priority is our new water dump area for, for the farm area. Um, take a quick look at, okay, this tree is 35%. 55%, 42%, and then the birch, those, those are relatively new. Um, all right, things are, oh, I should put, I should put one right here. I want to put, let's just put a pine tree right there. And is any of this marked for cutting? None of this is marked for cutting. I'll leave the pine tree there. Just kind of use that as a um, shade for the medical tents. Doesn't really matter, but I think it might be fun to have a tall, permanent pine tree right there. So, all right, those are marked for cutting. This is marked for cutting. That's since I have the cutting tool out. Um, this over here is marked for cutting, but doesn't matter because it's not going to be trees anymore. All right, the drought is over. Let's resume. Let's watch that water come in. Um, we were successful in keeping this irrigated through the entire six day, six day drought. I think it was a six day drought. So that is exciting. I'm glad to see. All right, here comes that waterfall coming all the way down. Uh, pump is actually working again. Um, these are probably unpaused over here, which is a good sign, but uh, there's no water there yet. So let's see. There's people in there. They're waiting. The water's coming. And there we go. Water. Alrighty. So we will get back to our um, this is our default view of how we're, how we're looking at things. Um, just to kind of get a sense of, let me close that, get a sense of our little village. I'm going to pause it. That is the end of cycle six. Crazy. Um, camera state saved. So, um, let me know in any comments, um, opinions or thoughts on this process, um, things that you might want to see. Um, mm, mm, mm. and that means I need to switch over to here. Hmm. I have the wrong overlay. But, uh, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for watching this stream and, um, hope that you are enjoying it. It is, uh, it is intentionally low key it is intentionally um just kind of a chill time um not really you know i i find it nice and relaxing to watch timberborn videos so i figured i might as well make some so i'm hoping that that is something that you are also enjoying and um yeah i will see you in the next one